Seven years ago, a GPU with 1GB of GDDR5 VRAM and a core clock speed of 900MHz was capable of running almost all games in high settings. The question is, is it any good today? We're going to find out. So this card was released back in 2010 and had a price tag of 250 euros in the European market. Today you can buy it used in the price range of 40 euros, that is 80% drop in its price. So let's find out what it can still do against some modern games. We ran Skydiver test and got a little over 8000 points, with an average combined 39 frames per second. In our FPS price test you pay 3 euros 51 cents for 1 frame per second. This is a great test that we thought is interesting to have. More about it in the description of this video. Just from pure curiosity, we run an old favorite title from the time this graphics card was built. And that's the Mafia 2 of course. It runs really smoothly as expected at 57 frames per second on high settings. Now the hard part. I must say that in order to make this test a little bit more interesting, I have overclocked the GPU at almost 1000 MHz core clock. We start with Battlefield 4 where we got 39 FPS at high settings. You really get a good quality game experience, so that's a win. Now on GTA 5. We have some problems because of the small VRAM, but running on medium settings we get over 75 frames per second, which is very playable. Now something more graphics intensive and that's Crisis 3. Although we didn't expect it could run Crisis 3 on high settings, we managed to get an average of 37 frames per second. Running Dirt Rally was not a problem at all, as it could easily do 57 frames per second on high settings without any lags. And last we tried the Rise of the Tomb Raider, where we pulled an average of 20 FPS at high settings. So in order to make this game playable, you must set it to medium. Concluding, it really depends on what you are planning to build and the budget you have. If you are okay with playing the games on lower settings, then buy it. Or just keep the money and wait till you buy something more powerful. That's up to you. My opinion is that for the price you pay for it, it is an option that I would think about for a cheap PC build and that's because if you buy a new graphics card from the store for this money, you won't get even the half of the performance the Radeon HD 6870 offers. So that is for today, thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to check out our channel and of course subscribe for more interesting stuff. See ya!